All right, welcome everyone for the uh, Cosmos SDK community call of October. Uh, we're going to present what we've been doing uh, the last months, uh, with the progress on the working group, and as well what we're going to do for the next three months for the Q4 planning. So a small update, for instance, on Olympus, the next Cosmos SDK release. Uh, we've recently tagged a beta 2 that has some improvement uh, compared to uh, beta one. I think we had fixes some bugs and bug a few stuff. Uh, and we as well been busy uh, working on the integration uh, with IBC and Cosmosm. Uh, we, we have, for instance, uh, someone from our team that have been basically migrating to O52 for the IBC. There is a branch here already and Cosmosm is already starting to integrate uh, with the O52 and uh, and the IBC version, as well as we have some new DevOps that is preparing some test nets so that anyone can join and play with O52 and as well uh, V2. Uh, there will be more details shared on those test nets as soon. Uh, on the V2 side, uh, we still continue work on uh, the feature parity for server V2. Um, we're adding a few features such as optimistic execution or the latest missing stuff such as the GRPC gateway to be sure that when we release V2, uh, you won't miss any feature if you migrate from BaseAmp to V2. And uh, we are as well starting QA on a store and AVL V2. So those are the last, basically the last bit to be able to, to release soon an alpha and then a beta and hopefully by end of year, before end of year, uh, a final. Um, to go directly now on the working group, and feel free to cut me if there is any questions. Uh, we still have the working group, uh, Bank V2 ongoing. Um, so this was to, uh, for those that don't know, it's a rewrite completely of, of Bank to, to simplify the APIs and to, um, to, uh, to add token factory and more features into Bank while keeping it simple. Uh, the work is still ongoing. There will be soon a PR for uh, the addition of token factory and uh, we'll, I will discuss the API and everything in the uh, in the bank in the bank working group. For those that want to join any of those working group, uh, feel free uh, to to tell us, and it's public. You are all able to to join. There is a signing working group that has been as well going on to refactor the uh, signing mode and come up with a new sign mode to uh, uh, more simplify sign mode. Uh, Zondax has been doing this part and, is and they are going to submit an ADR pretty soon on, on the Cosmos SDK as a proposal. And next to that, we still have the work on Crosslang ongoing. Uh, Crosslang being the, the working group where we are defining the REST APIs in the APIs that will allow you to build uh, modules in Rust, uh, Cosmos SDK module in Rust in the future. Uh, so we're still working on that and this is we will be soon presenting the, the flesh out API uh, that we would like user to use. And previously I mentioned last month that we're going to start a staking V2 um, uh, working group. We've decided to postpone it actually and to focus even more on crosslang because we want to push that further and let people play sooner with Rust modules. Uh, so we've been shuffle our planning and put and we're going to put more people on crosslang. If there is any question about that, otherwise I'll just go further and explain what we're going to do um, for the rest of the year. If not, let's just continue. Um, yeah, it's a long list. Uh, for instance, as I mentioned, we would love to release the 50 release. Currently, we are as good as ready. Uh, we're waiting basically on uh, the integration. Uh, we want IBC to have integrated and uh, have at least uh, an alpha version uh, to to be merged and to be tagged uh, that will work with O52. Uh, so we're just playing the waiting game right now, but hopefully they will be soon and we'll have an RC and then uh, a, a release. Uh, then granted that we have a release or at least we have an RC will be available to help team that have question and that want to integrate with Olympus as we, uh, there is not too many changes, not that IPA breaking, but uh, we're happy to help anyone that uh, that want to go first, let's say, and that want to uh, to integrate sooner and later. Next to that, we'll have some uh, module rewrites 
and not rewrite refactors. For instance, for X distribution, uh, currently for getting rewards, it's uh, it's a tax. It is a taxing event to to get rewards or to resolve rewards. We want to improve that and make it maybe uh, auto compounding or have to make it not be a tax event. Uh, so we're going to do some refactors on how distribution is working to uh, to the benefit basically of all users. Um, X account, which is basically the smart account module of the SDK that's going to be released alongside O52, is getting new account capabilities. Uh, for instance, an OZ account is being developed in a figurant account. Basically, the, the idea is to sort of replace the existing, existing figurant and OZ module that we have and uh, be, have those be an account type that uh, any user can, can as well create. And we are going to support the uh, multi accounts. So the combination of multi accounts into one account. So like your, your account can be a base account, a figurant account, and an OZ account in, in, in one. So there is there we already have the lockup and the um, and the multisig accounts uh, and the base account uh, ready and this is as well two extra accounts that we're planning to add and release uh, as the SDK get got modular uh, those features are not tied to the office to release they can be released before after uh, uh, at any time and uh, we are will be able as well to add any more accounts more accounts in the future uh, if wanted. Um, X account module abstraction means that we are um, currently in the process of removing the Exos module uh, requirement for chains. Uh, current chain probably will always need to keep the, mo the OS module, but new chain, thanks to X accounts, uh, we are hoping that they will not require to import or to use uh, the, the legacy basically account, account model. Um, so we are based refactoring the code so that there is no more dependency on XOS for, for a new chain. Um, then we're planning to add a new module, the fee market. Uh, this is a module developed by Skip that uh, many chains are, are, are using and requesting. So we have decided uh, with Skip to just upstreaming directly to the NZK and to enter such a co maintainship so, uh, of that module. So this will be, be an official SDK module, but still. Uh, maintained by our team and by Skip uh, together. Next to that, we have as well some work plan on the X upgrade module. Uh, in the in the past time, uh, upgrading by time instead of block was possible, but that got disabled uh, because it wasn't super. Uh, it wasn't working so well. Thanks to PBTS, we're able to in, com in Comet V1, we're able to uh, to re-add this feature. So uh, this is what we're going to do and. Uh, basically we able a uh, time upgrade, which will be pretty nice for, I think, uh, the whole ecosystem. And as I mentioned earlier, the idea for IAVL v2 and store v2 and server v2 is to basically release those uh, those long, this long work that we've been doing. Um, so we're going to, uh, we have already entered QA and doing API review, and we're planning to release IAVL v2, store v2, and uh, the whole bunch of server v2 uh, this quarter. Um, and next, we're going to investigate polarization in STF uh, using BlossXCM. So there will be some some developer that we're going to uh, that will include investigate to make STF uh, compatible, and uh, and maybe create a new STF. This is uh, this is uh, uh, okay. I hear some people are still in the waiting room. Let me check. I don't see anything. Okay, I'll continue because yeah, hopefully we can fix that next time. Um, where was I? Right, indeed. Maybe in the user calling, the, the thing with user calling is we couldn't record, so I updated it in our, in our channel. Let's see. Okay, something we should fix next time, but I'll just continue and uh, then we can check. So with the V2 work basically getting released and Olympus being a long-term support version, so uh, we are going to actually now start to clean the tech depth and clean uh, the V1 part of the SDK, which means deleting server, deleting CMAP V1, deleting runtime, deleting all everything that is, uh, that is really related, as well as base app. So now that V2, Will be future. Uh, will have future parity and do exactly what does uh, basically V1, but 
faster and better, uh, we'll enter the uh, the phase of actually removing the, the V1 part of the SDK and uh, users are still able to, to use basically V1 for two years or longer, uh, as long as we may paint Olympus basically, uh, but on main we'll start to, to remove all, all the rest. And uh, last but not least, uh, we have Crosslang, as I mentioned, this is something we want to have at least the APIs ready uh, this quarter and as well the first Cosmos SDK uh, Rust module. So this is pretty big thing. Um, this, I think, be the example module, of how, the example of how to build a Cosmos SDK module in Rust. And uh, this is something we want to get out the door, out of the door as well this quarter. Um, I mentioned documentary improvement. This is always happening. Uh, yeah, something to as well keep in mind. So that was a. Uh, that was basically the whole uh, the whole plan of this quarter. Anything? Anyone has any question uh, on that or? If not, anyone want to discuss anything and need help on uh, their Cosmos SDK chain or question? Like we have. Uh, we have Matt and me here from the SDK team uh, uh, to answer anything you want. So if you have any question, uh, just feel free to as well uh, shout them to us. Can be about your chain, can be about whatever. If not, then I'm going to end the recording and uh, thank you for listening. And uh, I guess we can see each other in Cosmoverse. Uh, for those that goes in Dubai, uh, I'll be there giving a presentation on exactly what uh, V2 entails and what changes there, as well as a workshop X accounts and how you can uh, make use of it. I believe there will be other people as well from the SK team that will be happy to meet you. Um, so yeah, thank you very much.